Hello everyone. This is my new to me Macintosh SE, which I bought from an ad on Facebook Marketplace. I've always loved Macs, especially the quirky cool of the pre OS X machines. And this one, for example, has uh, Stephen Hall's Talking Moose installed. It's a cartoon moose that pops up on screen with sayings, advice and jokes. And that's what the Mac was all about in the mid to late 80s. Quirky little bits of software that just made your day better. I bought my own Mac Plus new in 1989 and I still have it. In fact, look out for a forthcoming video where I show and tell my first five computers that I actually still own. But anyway, back to the SE. Having driven a couple of hundred miles to collect it, I brought it home, plugged it in and switched it on. Amazingly, the hard drive was fine. The machine booted and I was greeted by the talking moose. I explored the hard drive and there was lots of software installed, including one of my all-time favourites, Flight Simulator from Sublogic, here in uh, version 4. I watched the demo for a while, expecting magic smoke to appear from the rear of the machine at any time, but it uh, continued to run just fine. Unlike the Mac Plus, which has a battery behind an accessible cover at the rear of the machine, the SE's battery is on the motherboard, and of course, I had no idea how long the battery had been in there. Sometimes the battery is socketed, sometimes it's soldered to the board, and of course, if the machine has been in storage for a long time, which this one had, it's distinctly possible that the battery has leaked, potentially damaging something. So after playing around for about 15 minutes, it was time to open the case and remove the battery. First things first, I got out my 1970s towel, put it on the bench and got together the other necessary tools. Opening one of these one box Macs is easy, but you'll need a long Torx T15 driver to reach the recessed screws in the handle. Uh, I use a long skinny Allen wrench, which does a perfectly good job, even though it's not actually Torx. In fact, it came free with a four meg RAM upgrade for my Mac Plus that I bought sometime in the late 80s. Also with this Plus's RAM was a Mac Cracker, which is a kind of clamp that you use in reverse to split the Mac's case without damage. Once inside, it's a good idea to discharge the CRT by grounding the anode, and uh, I have a tool made from an old screwdriver and a crocodile clip. There are four screws to undo and then you can use the mat cracker to pry apart the case without damaging it and then lift the back clear. Inside you'll find a cover over the motherboard which simply lifts away and then you can discharge any residual charge in the tube by clipping your crocodile clip to an earth point and touching the anode beneath its cap with the end of your screwdriver or whatever discharge tool you have. Removing this bracket attached to the chassis gives better access to the power and drive cables and makes it much easier to undo them. The motherboard itself is removed by simply pulling up, but you'll have to unplug the drive connectors and the power cable from the board first. And look out for the speaker cable which can be damaged if it isn't removed from the board as you pull it up. With the board on the bench you can see the battery and this one was in fact in a holder. I had a quick look at the motherboard and other than some dust it seemed in good condition. This battery is dated December 1988 which means it's probably the original but fortunately it hadn't leaked. I didn't intend to replace the battery with a fresh one, so now is the time to put the machine back together. Don't forget to put the flexible cover back over the motherboard when you're putting it back together.
And with the SE back in one piece, I connected to the power and switched on. There was a beep and everything appeared to be working fine. The machine itself and the keyboard are in pretty good condition and not too yellow. The same cannot be said of the mouse, which is dirty and very yellow. So that will need a clean and probably retro brighting. But for now, and with a last greeting from the talking moose, I'm happy the battery is out and that's it for this one. Thank you for watching.